Yo, what's good, MT fam? It's your boy St. Joe, MachineTutorials.com. Just a really quick tip. I want to show you how to map uh, battery controls. Not not how to map the pads. I already showed you that. But how to actually map the different controls so they show up inside of uh, right here in Machine. As you can see, we've got 16 different pages, but there's nothing mapped. So... As you know, battery has tons and tons of different things you can map in here. So basically what you want to do is if you want to know if you can map something, the quickest way is to right click on it. If it says learn MIDI CC automation, then that's something you can map. If it doesn't say that, like there's some things in here, like it'll say this control is not automatable. That means you can't automate that control. So there's a lot of stuff in there that you can't automate. So even if you turn it on, you see it's not automatable. But there's uh, there's also stuff in there that you can't automate. So uh, a lot of the stuff is going to be on the sale level or <clears throat> like some of the effects and stuff you can modulate. modulate. So let's say you want to modulate the lo-fi so you can be able to control the lo-fi directly. Or maybe you want to be able to control the volume directly from your you know machine controller. So what you want to do... Go to View uh, Automation Page, and this is going to use uh, Host Automation. So let's put this on zero because we see this knob right here says zero. So we want to put this ID on zero, and then I can just drag this to whatever I want it to automate. So let's say I want this to be volume. I'll take it and drop it on my volume, and you see now my volume is is modulating the machine. And I can go, I can keep going to the next, let's say maybe I want to do the pan. So I'll go here, pan. And now I can control the pan. So you can quickly set up whatever you want. You can do this for, you know, the different kits inside a battery, or you can make a default template and and, my, and, and set up your different controls. Let's say I want to do some of the, the master effects. So you still got the effects over here. So let's say I want to do the master effects. Let's say um, I want to modulate the master, I don't know, the EQ. So we go here. There's the cutoff. Then this one is the resonance for the EQ and the filter. I could do the same with the uh, reverb, the delay, the compressor. Or if I want to ma map something on the cell level, say I want to map the volume envelope, I can do the same thing here and just drag it down. So it's really straightforward, but there's so many, like I said, think about the volume envelope on each cell. You can do that for each cell, so it can get pretty tedious, but, you know, it's, it's so quick to do that if you have just certain stuff you want to modulate or you want to automate really quick or you want to be able to control really quickly, you can just do that. <clears throat> Let's say we can go back over here. We have the K, um, so sustain. So there's some of the stuff I got modulated, and as you can see, it's going to work. And that's going to be on my master. So my master, I got that one set up for. So pretty much gives you quick control over whatever you want. Like I said, I could save this or I could map. Say if I just want to control all my master effects, um, I could do that and save it as a default template for battery just by going here and saying uh, save as default. And every time I open battery, it'll have all my master effects Um mapped so it's really you know pretty much up to you like i said it's 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 pretty straightforward and the master effects are going to be the same across all of them so you still you got your compressor you got your limiter one thing i haven't figured out you can't really map this right here to actually turn it on and off which so you still have to open it up to turn it on and off but if you already have these mapped then you can already control your your filter your compressor your limiter your delay and your reverb for everything so every time you open up battery you'll be able to control that stuff and like I said if you want to go down to the cell level and you know control the volume envelope of each cell you can so it's really up to you um just depends on how you want to do it, but I wanted to make sure you understood how to do that. It has to be the, the host automation because that's what actually what machine is picking up. So when you see these 16 pages, it's picking up all the way up to number 127. So you can go in and keep dragging all of them. If you want to do all your sales, you can. It's really up to you and how you want to do it. Um, 
but I think you know a lot of people even if you could just map your your master effects um, will save you a lot of time in in creating and tweaking your kits in battery but like I said you can do the the effects for the different sound the insert effects um, some of the modulation stuff uh, so that one's not see the frequency I can modulate that so you can see some of the different stuff that you can modulate it's not everything you can modulate but some of the stuff you can so um, that's pretty much it like I said again you want to be in <clears throat> say if I close this so if I'm just on my main page if I want to get to my automations I go to view and show the automation page and then it's going to be on the host automation and I just drag whatever IDs I want it's going to by default it's going to start on zero when you first open battery this is going to be one so change this to zero so you can map your first knob but then you're pretty much good to go like I said I could save this and it'll it'll remember when I pull it up next time so let me know if you got any questions of course it's your boy St. Joe MachineTutorials.com showing you how to map the custom controls of battery inside a machine see y'all later peace